Ever wondered, why the terms port and starboard are used to denote left and right sides on ships? Here is the interesting story behind it. In the early days of boating, before ships had rudders on their center lines, boats were controlled using a steering oar. A steering oar was basically just a modified oar, generally attached in a vertical direction to one side of the ship slash boat. As most of the sailors were right-handed, so the steering oar used to control the ship was placed over or through the right side of the stern. Thus most of the sailors used to call the right side as the steering side, which soon became starboard. The word starboard is formed by combining two Old English words, steer, meaning steer, and bore, meaning the side of a boat. As the size of boats grew, so did the steering oar, making it much easier to make fast a ship to a dock on the side, opposite the steering oar, which means the boats used to dock with the left side of the boat facing the dock. The original name of the left side of the ship was not port, but rather the old English babboard. After babboard came ladderboard, meaning laden, meaning to load, and bore meaning ship side. This gave rise to the starboard rhyming word larboard. Over time, larboard which was too easily confused with starboard was replaced with port as this was the side that faced the port or the dock, allowing cargo to be loaded or discharged. So, that is how the terms port and starboard came into existence. Since port and starboard never change, they are unambiguous references that are independent of a mariner's orientation, thus removing the chances of any ambiguity, and hence sailors prefer to use these nautical terms instead of left and right. Now another question must be popping in your mind. Why the port side is indicated with red color, and the starboard side is indicated with green color? Well, there are many explanations, but few of them make sense, let's have a look at them. Our eyes have three color receptors, red, green and blue. Given that the main color at sea is blue, it makes sense to use red or green for maximum contrast and visibility. Now you must be thinking, why port side was assigned with the red color and starboard side with the green color? It's because when two ships are converging, the one on the right will see a green light and the one on the left a red. In other words, the boat with the right of way sees green, as in go, and the vessel on the left, which should give way, sees a red, as in stop, which is in conjunction with the old saying red means stop, green means go. The British Admiralty standardized the green to right, and red to left in 1847 to avoid confusion among vessels, and prevent collision. Within a few years, the British standard was adopted by nearly all seafaring nations of the world. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Sailor Guy for more informative videos.